Yeah, she's she's dead. Ah, oh, she's toast. <laughs> dead. Well, that's not how you want to be ending the day. Do you think he's dead? Morning, everyone. Here today at Three Sisters with Mr. Champion in the skyline. I was going to show him what you were doing just for the mems. What's that down there? Well, the way the way you fucking shafted me. Well, yeah. I get you on this drift. I ask you for one thing, and you present me with this fucking thing. Yeah, it's not going so well, is it? Which is the hole? Is this the hole? So he's been sewing at this for about ten minutes. No es bueno. You need to go and try and make a mate with an angle you grinder. Can't make, make fucking mate. I'm not making any mates no today. No. This is his screamer pipe look. Which why is it why is it changed? Why does it need cutting? It sets fire to the bonnet. Uh, you don't want it setting fire to the bonnet though, do you? No, that's why it needs to be longer. <sighs> well, come on, you best carry on. I'm not Are you giving up? I'm not carrying on for you to make a mug of me when you cause this issue. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll try and catch him later. But yeah, we're on this Free Sisters Drift Day, so it's quite a low number day. Pretty chuffed to be on it. Thanks, Ed. Thanks, Ed. Oh, he's not happy at all. So, but yeah, we've. Um, been a bit last minute, both me with this thing and also Ed with the skyline. And I was meant to cut this for him last night, but I didn't leave the unit while about half 10, 11, and I completely forgot. So I said, oh, don't worry, I've got an axaw in my toolbox. But yeah, a butter knife would probably be more useful than that. Absolute garbage. So that's not good. But yeah, I'm just going to get the car on the trailer, and then we've got a, a lot of time on track today, potentially. So looking forward to that. I get the car off the trailer and get unloaded. Got new GoPro to test up there. Hopefully it'll do better than what it did at Driftland. That's why I never had a static camera at Driftland because the wobble was too real. But I think the new GoPro should be good. Helmet cam and then foot cam. Yeah, all the cams, all the GoPros. So let's get to it and I'll speak to you in a bit. Driftings. Oh no, of course I've not fixed the clutch by the way. It's exactly the same. All I've done to the car is paint these wheels. Look at this giving it a bolt check and those horrible orange wheels are now silver that's it that's all I needed to do oh, and I raised it up as well obviously following the, the coilover video so the coilovers should now be nice and tight and not come loose fingers crossed His first session done. Had a few off the track moments, one or two, just one or two. She's still good. Now I think I might have found what my wheel wobble is. I'm certainly hoping this is my wheel wobble. What do you think? Yeah, hoping that is my wheel wobble. How's rear tyres doing? So my rear tyres are like brand new, no surprises. A 
I've brought two sets of brand new tyres and then even some part ones, but I don't think he'll be needing them. Has he done a set of tyres? Nah, has he fuck? My rear is glued to the track. Yeah, uh, so much traction. And the, my front's washing out as well. It's just the track, mate. It's not, it's not your tyre pressures. It's, uh, it's a bit ice. It's because we're used to the drift land where we're doing laps and laps, but we've got to cool down and then the front tyres lose all their warmth. Went out on cold tyres on the wet and it just like... I saw you. I got a bit of a wheel wobble. I'm hoping this is it. That'll be it, yeah. You reckon that's it? Yeah, that'll be it. Yeah, hopefully. It's, uh, yeah. Right, I've cleaned all my glass. I've put the rear tyres up to 50 PSI. They were at 35 before. Or they were 30 when they were cold. They were 35 in the pits. So I've gone up about 15 PSI hot. And we're doing a similar track, just without the end bit. And I'm going to put the foot cam on as well, because of course I'm, I'm being a bit of a left foot braking god, or I'm trying to be, so if I crash doing that, top bounce. Has the car loaded itself any yet? Maybe, I don't know. We'll have a review of the uh, coilovers probably another time. Feels alright though. Could do it being a bit stiffer on the rear, hopefully. This extra PSI will sort that out. We'll do a pit walk at lunch as well. There's a few cars here. There's not that many cars here. There's a few cars here. Is he having a bad time or what? Everyone's having a bad time. All right, let's go on the track. I get my pedal cam. Where are you? Where are you? I see you. Yeah, we pedal cam you. Where's my trusty? My trusty free look. All right, let's do it. Sacrifice a little bit of actual sidewaysness out of this second tight corner. We'll have more speed to do the, the corner after it, and then we'll actually be more like we're linking the track. Come down, you bloody fool! You get us kicked off the track. You bloody green bastard! Yeah. Right, it's actually after lunch now. They're all going out again, but we're gonna have a quick little twack walk. Twack walk. Still looks good, doesn't it? The car. <laughs> Still looks good. I want to try one of them. If anyone can tell me where I can get a cheap it duct, there. I think it's plastic. plastic. Yeah. So, yeah, I could just hole saw it, I guess, but some of them have these real nice ducts that go in there. 
But yeah, we're going to have a quick wander around the paddock and then we're going to go out for the third session. How's your day going, Mr. Champion? Alright. Alright. Yeah. Have you done some tyres yet? No, I'm doing pretty well actually. Yeah. Loads My tyres are oh, mega. I feel like I put a load of tread on it. But well, you've picked the bit where there's actually nothing there, that's the yeah. problem. Are we going to get a focus? It's in full auto, bastard. Yeah, I think the rest of the tyres are alright, you're just missing a bit there. Should do another session. No dramas, they were brand new then, weren't they? Yeah. Hmm. So, Nissans and Beamers. Nissans and Beamers, Nissan. Oh, another one. One of them's back on the trailer already. Did he even come off? Uh, no, I think I've seen it go around, yeah. Alright. Another Nissan. Another Nissan. Just all Nissans and Beamers, isn't it? Oh, but then, there's one guy, look, with his Volvo, a Volvinsky. Hey, oh, is that a, oh, it's a BMW V8. It's got no, no oil leak, though. Oh, yeah, it's not very Paul spec, that, is it? No, not enough silicon. No. Not Needs enough. more leakages. Ha. Yeah, but it's got a standard seat in it. The Volvo's cool. Well, let's just have a zoom. Look at this. That tow bike, he can tow his back up to Tow his back up to Yeah, man. What's going on, Rogue Motorsport? You didn't tell me you did driftings as well. Huh? It's all about then. Whoa! Yeah, Very nice, this Mercedes. I didn't see that car this morning, so I wonder if we just got here. Look at the bulge on the front of the bumper, man. That's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, there's a few pro looking cars, look. The guy got everything, man. He's even got the race suit on. He's got the race suit on, guys. Another pro esque car there. I didn't realise they did this, you know. It's been a while since I've been to Free Sisters, but they've got their own little drift school on, look. They've tarmacked this bit. I can't remember it being tarmacked before. And then they let people go skidding in these 350Zs. Not bad, eh? There's about three C5 all roads here as well. Just as a side note. There's another one there, look. There's another one in the paddock. Up the C5 all road. Right, we're going to do a little bit of spectating. And then we're going to get out. Yeah, expecting a friend here. Old schoolboy. This guy here is Ed's mate. It's going to be hard for me to get round here because I'm bouncing the second gear limiter. You not get round without wiggling. I need to try and shift a third half and round. Oh, he's done it, he's done it. Huh. I'm doing a warm up lap to warm up my car. Ah, the rock bottom spot. Give it some. What do you said? Is that I reckon? That is. Earlier. I'm doing a warm up lap too. Oh no, I'm not! Fooled you! <laughs> Come on, Volvo! He won't be able to do it. Nah, straightened up. <laughs>
action that wasn't it? We're going out. Alright, that's enough spectating. No more spectati tat. Alright, let's do it then. Got a new track layout to try and learn, and we've got some tyres to finish off. Let's do it. Alright, we're going out for his last session. Look who's there. It's the MR2 photography man. He's gonna get some pictures, obviously. Get me a nice thumbnail, please, Alex. Now, we're gonna have a passenger for this run. I've got an old mate from school here. So, it won't be the uh, static camera, just be the head cam and the foot cam for this one. Last session, Ed. Excited. I'm still on the same set of tyres, but I think this could be the end for him. I think this could be the end. We'll send him off in style. What track have we got? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one. Green on green. It's nice, isn't it? I do like it, yeah. It's for some reason, that's not wood, but it looks like someone's changed it. This is the only, just these two are the only bits of wood that are left. That's wood. Oh, it's that. What's it underneath? Has it been wrapped? Yeah, painted. Oh, what the fuck? That's to keep them up as well, aren't they? Fucking even, I don't know this track yet, but. Going for it, is, lad. Yeah. Try and figure it out. Oh, a bit of modest here. You've got a world of diff, it just wants to push all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but in a wheel when it bites, it just pushes it out. Yeah, well, if the clutch weren't as fucked, I'd kick it a bit more, but I've been trying to avoid kicking the clutch. Yeah. It's not really got the power, like the big power cars can just shift up and I know, floor it. I know, it, calm down, yeah. down, but... I'm not sure what we're going to do here. I noticed earlier when I was in the queue, at BMW dials, like E39, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if he's put like a V8 in it. Yeah. It was a V8 by the sound of it. I think mo most of the S14s here are V8 by the sound. Yeah. Here we go.
is good. Chaser, whatever it is. Chaser, that that could mean right smoke. The amount of smoke you made on one of the passes was a I've got to just go, trying to get a bit faster in here this time. I've been driving it mate, we're done for the day, but they're allowing us half an hour track time, por gratis, my new favourite word eh, it's Spanish that, hey. yeah, what does it mean? so Ed's going to have a, what does it mean, I'll tell you later, it's a bit complicated, so Ed's going to go out in this, and I'll save you the embarrassment <laughs> of having the foot cam, look after her, please, it's my baby, should we go, should we go watch him, oh here we go, Remember the Volvo from earlier? Turns out he is a genuine Patreon subscriber. They came over earlier. What are the chances? Right, should we go and watch him break my car? The bastard. That's my passenger's car, what do you think? Huh? Posh. What is that MR2 photographer doing here? Right, so we've let Ed out and we're gonna see him break my car and crash it, no doubt. Oh, slippy. Here he comes for his first run. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh no. Oh no, sorry, there was a, there was a dog. Sorry, span out. Here he comes. Here he comes for his second go, come on, champion. Oh, very wide. Oh, he's got it. He's got it as well. Floor it, lad, floor it. Ah, oh, the Volvo's coming round. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Steady on, lad. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where's the tour and they'll be next, I think. No? Let's come back in the pits. That clutch pedal. Stinks the clutch, what have you been doing? I'm trying to use the clutch. Oh, you can't clutch kick Why it either. Why is at the top? You can't clutch kick it either. Oh, well, you could have told me that. You bastard! <laughs> Are my gloves on there? Are my gloves there? Ah, fuck it. Right, last session, letting us out for a little bit. I've got no gloves.
Yeah, she's she's dead. Oh, she's dead. Yeah, she's, she's dead. Sorry, mate. Ah, she's toast. Where'd she go? <laughs> Extra half an hour, yeah? <laughs> All right, cheers. Oh, no. What's happening to my baby? Well, that's not how you want to be ending the day. Day's done. And she's stranded in the pits. She's dead. Yeah, you can show me Duke's of Hazard in getting out of here. I'll try and do it cool. This is the only way to get out, you can't open the door. Hang on, just make sure my pants out. Did you go feet out of? You've just got to launch yourself like a salmon. There you go. It's better than the MR2. Because the MR2 I have to climb out and then I can't do this. Hang on. Get ready. Oh, All the luxuries, mate. Now it's secure, look. Central locking. Not that size. This, this, this is locked. Right, I can answer the question of had my coil was come loose or not. Yes, they definitely have. Because I can't get the strap in. So. Yeah, I guess it's drifting or what, I don't know, I have to weld them shut I think, but yeah I can't get that in, so I will be able to bend that back but it was a lot easier to do last night. Come on before we go, do the thing, come on, do the thing, oh! hey look at this, my dog got me a car from, from Deutschland when he was on his holidays. And it's actually my car, look at that. Genuine Deutschland approved. Right, I'll get home, I'll give you a little conclusion when I get back to the unit, but not a bad day, eh? I can't give you outro because power's off. The power is off in the barn, so I can't give you an outro in the barn. But I can quickly say, good day. Car has problem. Maybe coil pack, something. But the thing is, it only happened when Ed drove it. It was fine at Driftland, getting very hot at Driftland. And then Ed takes it out and then it breaks. I wonder what it could be. Oh, we definitely need to do the clutch as well before the next track day. I forgot to tell. Ed not to clutch kick it. I've not been clutch kicking it all day really. I've been changing into second and then trying to trying to balance the car with the brake and try and get it to spin that way. I've not been clutch kicking. I wasn't using the hydro either, mainly because you know I'm not I don't play for that team, you know, it's not me. But also because I didn't want to fully depress the clutch because of its issues. And I forgot to tell Ed all this before he took it out. So the clutch definitely knackered and then obviously we've got an issue there with the car turning itself off which I'll do some frantic googling but if someone in the comments can just tell me what it was ideal thank you right anyway good day thanks for the patreons thanks to everyone else watching liking subscribing big up the green bastard 
I'll see you in a future video. Thank.